Hey guys, it's John P from GeekBeat TV. Hey, everybody loves internet, right? The only thing better, free internet. Let's talk about how you can get some. Powered by the 2013 C-Max, the official car of CES. Hey guys, I'm here with Steven, who's the CEO of Freedom Pop. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, no problem, glad to be here. So uh, how's CES shaping up for you guys so far? Well, we're about an hour and a half in, so so far so good. <laughs> it's a rush. Okay, so I was really excited when I saw you standing over here because I've heard some rumors about this free internet service. And I mean, uh, I'm sure everybody's wondering how you make that happen. But let's start off for a second. Let's just tell people, what is Freedom Pop? Well, you kind of alluded to it, it's free internet. We're basically out there trying to give away free internet to as many people as possible. Okay, so free is great. Everybody loves it. Not the best business model in the world. So how are you going to stay in business if you give away for free? Yeah, that's the operative question. So what we're doing is basically, we expect for 80% of people to never pay us a dime. It's similar to Skype or Dropbox or other freemium models. For the heavier users, there's plans that you can buy. And right now we're seeing good adoption. About 20 to 30% of our users are buying a heavier plan and they're using more data. Okay, so. I can get free internet, but I only get so much free internet, and if I want a little more, then I just have to pay? Exactly. So we'll give you a half a gig a month free for life. No questions asked. Every month you get another half a gig. You can earn additional by having the more friends you have, the more free you get. Uh, oh. We actually have partners where you can go print a Chili's coupon, for example, you get a free 100 megs. So there's all kinds of ways to earn as much, a lot more free, but a guaranteed minimum, a half a gig a month for life. Okay. So spread the word get more free, freebie and uh, otherwise half a gig. Half a gig is really enough to at least do things like email and uh, a little bit of web surfing, not a whole bunch of like Netflix streaming or anything, but you can you can get by if you're a casual yeah, user, I, mean, I guess. 70% of Americans use under a half a gig on their cell phone. Okay. 30% are using over, so for more than half the population, it's enough to do all your mobile uh, internet. True, all right, so I'm gonna get some free internet. How do I get it? What, what, where am I, what are my options? So it's pretty simple. You go to freedompop.com, spelled like it sounds, yeah. or Amazon, but let's not give Amazon the margin. <laughs> go to freedompop.com, we got four devices you can choose from, the world's uh, smallest hotspot. Let's see it, let's see let's it. Let's actually uh, prove that out. Here's wow. my hand, it fits into the palm of my hand, tiny hotspot, and you can connect eight devices to this. That's like two inches by two inches or something, and maybe what, uh, like a little over a quarter, under half an inch thick? Right. Exactly, tiny, I mean, it fits right into a pocket. Okay, you said up to eight devices on that Wi-Fi hotspot. How long, how much battery am I gonna get out of that? Eight hours on this little thing, so. Eight hours is ridiculous. Okay, that's awesome. So we All right, that's option number one. That's What's option, option number two? Option number two is a USB dongle, which okay. I will grab. That, you just plug into any laptop and you're gonna get free internet on your laptop. You just plug and play. There's no software, it's just, it just works. I'm curious how many people want these anymore, because I would only really want that, I think. You're like most people. I think okay. we do about 10% of the people who actually want the laptop dog. But they need that. All right. Get a laptop, it's a good option. It's okay. easy to use. Hey, did you know that NPR's award-winning public radio app is one of the many apps that you can control with your voice via Ford Sync App Link. Connect a supported mobile phone to your Ford vehicle via Sync App Link, and before you know it, you're going to be able to stream local news, listen to your favorite programs like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, and navigate through custom playlists, all using simple voice commands. Sync App Link is yet another example of how Ford is going further to keep you connected on the go. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Option number three then. Option number three? Well, If you're an iPod user. What is that? Here's a case, you snap it onto an iPod touch and you basically turn this into an iPhone. So for That's any teenager, awesome. Any teenager or kid or, or adult who's got an iPod and wants to actually turn that thing into an iPhone and have cellular, here's the case and it's a hotspot. So you could use that with like Skype or something and make it a hotspot for other devices. And actually tomorrow we're launching our own VoIP app where you can actually make free calls on top of free data and really have a compelling iPod, iPhone experience. That's very, very cool. Okay, that's option number three. What about number four? You said there were four, I think. The fourth option is for the home user, right? So we uh, just announced we're going into the home. This is a very powerful device, very strong antennas, strong Wi-Fi. You plug it in your home wall and you got home internet. Faster than DSL. 
Okay, so I noticed this has two Ethernet ports on the back. And what's that? I could hook an external antenna onto it if I wanted more range? Yep, you can put an external antenna in it and amplify the speeds even more. But okay. Right now you'll get about 10 megs down faster than DSL. Wow, okay, 10 megs down. This begs the question now, uh, free internet, all this sounds good to me. Two questions come to mind. Number one is, where all is this available? And number two is, what are these, what's, what are these things gonna cost me? And what are the plans gonna cost me? All right, so, so no device is over 100 bucks. Uh, the most expensive device is this one, 99 bucks. That's cheap for a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's very cheap for a Wi-Fi hotspot. The, the home device is 89 bucks, the dongle's 49 bucks. Uh, so devices are all sub 100 bucks. Affordable. Affordable. And the plans basically are free. I mean, you can come in on a free plan, basic service. If you want to buy a paid plan, to give you an idea, a five gig plan, for example, is going to cost you under 30 bucks. Okay. So it's still very cheap, cheaper than AT&T and Verizon. And how about network coverage? Where all is it available? So as of today, we're in the top 80 markets. Uh, pretty much if there's an NFL team, we're there, with the exception of uh, San Diego. Okay. But they might be moving to L.A. anyway. That doesn't mean we don't love you, San Diego. We do love you. We do. We, we, actually, we'll, we'll get to San Diego soon enough. All right. Well, that's good stuff. So you guys go check it out at freedompop.com. And stay tuned for more coverage here from CES on GeekBeat. Go to youtube.com forward slash GeekBeatTV. Give us a thumbs up. See you later.